Okay, YouTube, this is uh, Super Lead Hacksaw here. As you can see, I have uh, recently upgraded to Windows 7, and it is amazing. I suggest you highly go buy this or uh, do whatever you how get it however you want, but it is amazing. And I'm here to show you a new theme. It is called the Windows 7 Ultimate. This one will just be a, uh, a showing you of the theme, and I will create an installation in a minute and post that up with this theme. So you will be able to see both of them. I just don't want to make my videos too long. So, this is the theme right here, alright? So we're going to open it up. This screen right here is, uh, you can, like, it is incredible, the interface with this. You can click on the icons, spec works, and it opens up to this screen, okay? However, the password and this little, um, like, go button does not work, but this, the switch user does. So you can switch users, and it'll go back to the previous screen, okay? Click on, uh, the guest, and it'll go to the guest account. You can switch users again. Uh, let's just log on with the guest account. So to log on, you just scroll your finger up with this thingy, and it is the, as you can see, the uh, finger scan. Okay. So this is the theme. Um, it is a Windows 7 Ultimate theme. Windows 7 Ultimate. Okay. And uh, it is made by EBL4287 from the uh, ModMyEye.com, and it is an incredible theme. High props to him for creating this theme. Okay. So let me just show you how it works. It's not that hard to set up. It takes a lot of eye blanks. I'll show you that in the next video, though, as you can see quickly. Okay. Um, so we can go into my computer. It opens up your computer files. The only downfall of this theme is that there are no actual icons for the things. I, I would uh, really, I think it would be really amazing if he would make it so that the uh, background is like a notepad and all your um, things are like uh, just the words and they're like like sideways on the notepad like this is, I think that would be incredible. But it's up to him, all right. I might just make one myself just for me, but you never know. So these are all fully functioning, okay. I have edited the background. That is not the traditional background, okay. The traditional background is the um, the actual Windows 7 background, uh, that the default one, this one if you want to see it. Um, this one right there, it is that background, but I've changed it myself because I do not like that I like my background better so um, yeah anyways so this theme you uh, Windows Live Messenger that opens up you can change it to um, your whatever you want whatever your messaging system is through uh, SSHing okay uh, this little start button click oh sorry click on the start button there and it opens up and as you can see it glows the the first the third the fifth and the seventh icons do work LimeWare and YouTube I have done myself because this theme was meant for the iPhone and as you can see I have an iPod Touch. Well, you can't really see that, but I do have an iPod Touch so it does not work. So I created those LimeWare and YouTube ones for myself so that it would be easier uh, and it looks a lot better. So those do work, as you can see. Microsoft Outlook opens up notes, or your uh, mail, sorry. Media Player opens up your iPod and I'll just show you the iPod quick. Okay, this is the iPod and it is pretty uh, sweet looking hit play on that up there and I'll show you something up here is the Windows Media Player icon when it's playing I thought that was pretty cool okay and see when you click you see that oh look I have two cursors it creates a little cursor I thought that was pretty nifty so we're gonna play it and I'm gonna show you the uh, that screen from here okay so that's what that looks like as well that is, that is also pretty cool so we're just gonna pause that actually okay so there we go so anyways um, this little button here is the exact same as this one on my uh, Windows 7 okay it shows the desktop so we're just gonna click it and it shows the desktop or the springboard whatever you want to call it you can click this one just like this and it'll open up like that as you can see click on program files and it'll open up iFile okay you can click on user and it'll open up, open up this which is pretty nifty you can click on any of these things we'll go into my documents okay and it opens up all of these and uh, all the rest work the same. You you can also open up these ones here. Organize opens up your categories. Okay. Properties opens up your winner board. I will just let it load here. Okay. There we go. Uh, install opens up Cydia, as you can see in a second. And I'll show you the custom slider that it comes with, or that thing. This little thing right here, the progress uh, gear. That's pretty nifty. And all of these are changed to Windows. I thought that was pretty nifty with this theme as well. So we're just going to get back out of that. Okay. And uh, control panel opens up the settings. 
and the settings is pretty nifty. It's all uh, custom as well. He has done an outstanding job at ELB 4287. Can't give him enough credits for this theme. As you can see, look at that. It looks pretty uh, cool. I think that looks pretty sick to me. All right. So, and then uh, you can click this little close button here, and it actually closes. I thought that was even niftier. Um, the uh, that's it. That's your Safari right there. Okay. And as you can see, all the icons are updated for it. Oops. All the update. They're all updated to uh, Windows. You got updated time and date, as you can see. Updated time and date. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the theme. It's an incredible theme. Uh, can't give him enough props. Oh, this, when you originally download it, does say iPhone, and this is not this. This is personal picture. I will be probably blocking that out with annotations, but I don't really care, actually. Y you can see what it you want. Anyways, so yeah, this is the theme. It is an amazing theme. Highly recommend you go download it. That's from the uh, Mod My Eye repo or modmyeye.com. Okay, just search in it. Um, search for Windows 7 Ultimate and uh, Windows 7 Ultimate theme, and you shall find it. Okay, so you can see it's an MMI exclusive theme. Um, it is amazing theme. You and I'll be posting a tutorial on how to um, install it right about now. Okay, so thank you YouTube, and uh, look out for the next tutorial if you want to install this theme. Thank you. Bye bye.